Thank you, sir. Sir, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak on this very important bill. I'll be brief and put my submissions point by point, sir. The first point I'd like to make is relating to Clause 2 of the bill, which deals with definitions. Sir, Clause 2, bracket 42, defines service and brought under its purview a host of services, right from banking to entertainment. But there's no mention of health care, sir, which is a very important service. In 1995, the Supreme Court gave a judgment which clearly said that medical services to patients for which fee is charged comes under the purview of the Consumer Protection Act. But conspicuously, this bill has left out the direction of the Supreme Court. Not just paid service, sir. Even service provided in government hospitals free of charge should be included in this bill, sir. It's not about whether they're charging something or not. It's what is the rights of a consumer, regardless of whether the service is free or on chargeable basis. So even free government services should be brought under this bill, sir. I would like to know from the Honorable Minister the reasons for not including health care as a service in the bill. My second point, it was promised that the government would come out with a bill which would provide consumers an alternate system of consumer justice, which would help them seek resolution of their disputes with manufacturers and service providers in a sip simple and quick manner. Sir, nowadays, consumer justice has turned out to be anything but simple, quick, or inexpensive. The cases are piling up at every level, but, if I find, but I find no such provision in this bill. So I would like to know from the Honorable Minister, how is he going to simplify the procedure and resolve disputes in a fixed time frame, as was promised to the consumers of this country? So the third point, Clause 2, Bracket 7 and Bracket 42 of the bill define the words consumer and services. Here you are putting a condition that there has to be some consideration to go before the concerned forum. Sir, I feel that consideration should not be a condition precedent in case of availing medical or municipal services provided by the government. Let me give an example. A victim of medical negligence in a government hospital, or if a person dies due to negligence of any of the identified municipal services, should also be entitled to compensation, sir. The proposed bill restricts this. It says that there has to be a consideration. I feel that the definition should be enlarged, bringing even free services provided by the government under the purview of the Bill for Compensation, sir. I request the Honorable Minister to please consider this. Sir, the fourth point, Clause 89 of the Bill, talks about punishment for false or misleading advertisements, which have far-reaching implications. There are penal provisions which say that in case of false advertisements, the imprisonment will be for two years and a fine of five lakhs. But the bill is silent on surrogate advertisements, sir. For example, if you have surrogate advertisements for alcohol brands, pan masala brands, cigarette brands, and other such type of dangerous uh, products, where advertising is restricted, they come out with these surrogate advertisements, sir. We're all aware. Uh, there'll be uh, mineral water, you know, liquor brands advertising of mineral water and so on. There are advertisements where brands claim that doctors recommend a particular toothpaste health drink, etc. also. And if such toothpaste or health drink misrepresents, then penal action has to be taken against such brand and company. But there is no such provision in the bill for surrogate advertisements. So I request the Honorable Minister to please give a serious thought to surrogate advertisements. The next point, and very important point, sir, is related to Clause 10, which deals with the appointment of the Chief Commissioner of Central Consumer Protection Authority and Clause 42 deals with the appointment of the State Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission. When it comes to the composition of the Commission, the Bill does not mention anything about the composition of the Central Consumer Protection Authority. The Bill delegates powers with regard to qualification, terms and conditions. I'm just completing in a minute or two, sir. The Bill delegates powers with regard to qualification, terms and conditions of service, salaries, etc., to the Government of India and is the case with regard to State Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission, where appointment of the President, members, their qualifications, salaries and allowances, etc., under the State Government. The existing Consumer Protection Act clearly mentions that commissions at various levels will be headed by a person qualified to be a judge. And the 1986 Act also clearly mentions about minimum qualification for members. But nothing has been mentioned in this bill, sir. sir 
I also mentioned while speaking on the RTI bill similar uh, concern that the government wants to keep in its fist every institution by keeping with it the qualifications, salaries, allowances, tenure, no, etc. <coughs> it's not in the interest of any institution, including the consumer forum, sir. So instead of detailing them under subordinate legislation, I request the Honorable Minister to mention the same in the bill itself, sir. Sir, the final point, uh, just one, one short, two short points, I'll finish, sir. The next point is about penalizing celebrities, which some of the other members have also mentioned, who endorse misleading advertisements. While I agree there has to be some accountability with the celebrity, we also need to understand that they are not uh, organizations that can do due diligence on every product that they endorse. So while there has to be brought some type of uh, accountability, it should not be the same type of penalty as on the brand or the company, but something to help hold them accountable, I think, is in order, sir. Sir, finally, the Jago Grahit Jago movement is not going on with the kind of momentum which it ought to have been. So I suggest for consideration of the Honourable Minister to provide some extra financial support for this movement and to bring awareness among consumers about their rights and duties. Sir, you should make a provision in the bill itself that all private TV channels could telecast consumer-related advertisements in at least five minutes in an hour. This will help a lot in consumer education. With these observations and hoping that the Honourable Minister, Shri, Shri Paswan, Girish, would pay attention to the various issues raised by me and act on suggestions rendered and take them to their logical conclusion for a better consumer-friendly mechanism. I support this. Vartavani News Channel. Yappadi kapudu rajkia, sini viseshalu, sports, mariu sankiti kaparavaina, marino vishalu, maramundu kutestundi. Marinta samacharan karku, Vartavani News Channel subscribe cheyandi.